Yesterday, there was a new update, especially for the RC2. I've got my Mini 4 Pro because I watched a video early this morning from Gavin and I missed it. But apparently on the screen, there's a couple of new features. But I can remember it, he brought out another video before that where he nearly crashed it. So we're going to try out the uh, testing of the Mini 4 Pro, see if there's any problems. That's what this video is about. So guys, if you look on the screen now, at the bottom left, where you've got the distance and speed, they've slightly changed it a bit. Um, it, with the, I'm on about the arrows. I mean, not like that's made a major difference, but the main one is the active track. And this is that one there. I've got to have the drone in the air, but that's the latest symbol. I didn't notice that when I was looking at it. So I'm gonna get the drone in the air. We've got 57%. So. Apparently now, when I press that middle one with a dot in it, Okay, focus track. And what it's, it, what it's doing away, you don't have to actually draw a box around you. So it's picked me up. Now, if obviously, if I was in a more built up area like cars and other people, it would pick them up. So I'm just going to click on that cross a minute. I've got it on spotlight. So I'm just going to press record a minute. And we're just going to see if that works. I'm not expecting anything. I just want to change the area a bit. Okay, I'm going to do the active track now. So I didn't even have to start that. It's already doing it. Interesting. Okay, stop that. So I'm just going to come out of it. Um, I suppose I'll take it. If you press it again, it comes out. So I'll press it again. Highlight set, focus track enabled. So that's following me about. Okay, so that was just focus track. Right, if I tap on that little box then, and we do active track, and we'll see what happens if we do it in auto because. Um, It's worth trying it out, I suppose. When you get these new updates, it's always worth checking out. I mean, I don't want to spend all day going out checking it. I don't want to do, I don't do hyperlapses and other things like that. Active track, I do use it every now and again, um, but it's not my most important thing. So as you can see at the moment, we've got the Helix. We've got it on hold because I've stopped. A um, bit windy, but the Mini 4 Pro is pretty good with the wind, I must say. Okay, so I'm going to stop there. Stop that a mo. And we we'll, we'll knock off the cross. We we'll tap on it again. It's bobbing about there. Okay, let's do active track, manual. And we'll just see what happens there. What I will do, I'll just go. Yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go, it's like a little tunnel free. I'll just gonna see how it's going to cope with that. You might lose sound to me, but just see what happens. It might just um, stop. I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's quite a wide tunnel. You can see already. Oh no, it's coming through. Which is good. So I made it through, made it through the other end. You probably can't hear me. Okay, I'm going. Oh, did pretty well there. There was a nice big bush behind that, then it managed to cope with that. I'm not going to go through there. 
because I think that's just a little bit tricky. You've got some thin branches. I think sometimes you have to bear in mind, guys, you know, it's only a little drone, but it, it can do some amazing things. No, I mean, I have got some buildings around here, so I'm not expecting it to be perfect. I am going to move. Because it's obviously locked on to where the position I was. Um, which is fine. I just wanted to be back on camera so you can see what's going on there. It's still got the return to home where... I, I took off from, which is the main thing. It's just doing a circle close. Now it's doing a drone -y. I do like trying out this mode, which is the master shots, because it does all the things um, that this drone's ever going to do, really. Circle from afar. I've got 26%, so... I'm about halfway through, so there's a chance it might just do return to home. But we'll see, eh? Okay, it's doing a rocket now. Even though I'm not there. Is it, you know, but that's where the, the position it was locked onto. Uh, we're doing camera down. Yeah, all looking good. I'm going to do uh, return to home. And we'll see how good that is. I'm, I'm, of course, I didn't bring my landing pad. I should have done that. We've just come into uh, the end of this now. Battery level is low. Okay. Aircraft will return to the home point in 10 seconds. Well, I'm just going to let it do that as well. And as you can see... It's going to land, yeah, it's going to land on that dark bit. So I'm just going to cancel that ammo. Okay, I'm just going to bring it forward a bit. Land it there. So that was a good test. I couldn't see anything else on the Mini 4 Pro, but I don't go through the whole thing, guys, because, you know, I don't do the whole collapses. Um, but it'd be interesting to know if you notice any problems since the latest update. But other than that, yeah, it's all right. I don't know. I'm quite used to drawing a box around myself, but I suppose it's just another raid. I just wonder maybe if it gets a little bit cluttery on the left there, you know, if you press the wrong, you know, return to home or whatever. But anyway, that's the way it is. But we'll check. I will check my RC controller today to see um, if there's another update. If not, as always, this could be the other video coming right soon.